This movie tutorial shows how to use the scenario generator to generate a really simple scenario for our strategic war game. First select generating a new scenario and define the scenario's name and the scenario description. After that, you might want to add maps which are used in the game. So for this example, I prepared three different maps. A simplified geographical map, the geographical map and the resource map. You can see all the maps added to your scenario by using the left and right navigation buttons. So you see I have the simplified geographical map the geographical map and the resource map. For this example I would like to delete the geographical map again just to show the functionality. So now we have a scenario with a scenario name, a scenario description and we added two maps to our scenario. We would like to use the resource panel to add three different resources. It's called the first resource water, the second one food and the third one oil. And in this example we define that water and food is required by the population and oil is not required but it's a white card resource. In the gameplay later on this means that oil can be used to purchase other resources or to buy units. You can also select the importance of the resources required by the population. Where zero means it's not important at all and five means it's most important. I'm defining water as most important and food is important but not that important than water. You can have several resources defined with most important. This importance changes the behavior of the population if the need of this resource is not satisfied. But we will explain this later on. Now we continue and add players to our war game. We first want to have two local players. And a local terrorist. We also would like to have two international players. You can change the color in which the players appear on the game board. And you can change the order in which the players take the action. So in this example I would like to have the local player 1 and local player 2 moving first. Then I would like to have the international player 1 and 2 and at the end of each round the local terrorist takes their action. This input field allows you to define the strength of, this, of the player's forces. We will explain how this, how this impacts the gameplay later on. For now, let's define the, the local player with a similar strength. The first international player weaker than the local player and the third one stronger. And the local terrorists have the same strength as the local players. By using these red checkboxes you can define if a player is considered as a terrorist and you can define for each player the allowed actions in the gameplay grouped by actions belonging to regions 
action belonging to forces and action belonging to terrorists. In this example we would like to have the local player 1 and 2 similarly defined. Both are allowed to attack regions and to control regions. Both cannot protect or train a region. Both can attack forces, but they cannot ambush forces. Integrate is a functionality for terrorists only, and this means that the terrorist player has the option to have parts of a forces reintegrated into professional military. The local player 1 and 2 both are allowed to protect other forces, but they cannot train them. Both are allowed to attack and protect terrorists. The international player one is the weaker one of the, of the two international players. He can protect a region and he can train a region. He can attack a force, he cannot ambush a force, cannot integrate. He can protect a force and he can train a force. And he can attack terrorists but not protect the terrorists. The international player 2, he can protect regions, let's say he cannot train the regions, he can attack forces, he can protect forces, but he cannot train forces, he can attack terrorists. Now the terrorist player, he can attack and control regions, he cannot protect the region, cannot train a region. He can attack other players' forces as well as ambushing them. We allow him to integrate, means parts of its units can be reintegrated into professional military. He can protect other players' forces, but we do not allow him to train forces. Attacking and protecting terrorists makes only sense in a scenario with at least two terrorists two players defined as terrorists. So now we have a scenario defined by the name, the scenario description, by the maps we are using, with the three different types of resources and five different players, and we also define the order in which the players take their action and we defined the different actions the players are allowed to use.